So the refuge, like an external sense of refuge, then satigyum, the goddess uh, satigyum, or, or any of the kind of or any of the goddesses that we pray, then um, these are the, like, they are all like external manifestation, basically, all the, the before that, when we, uh, after that, after this, when we pray the list of all the different goddesses, so they, they are all kind of have some sense of different roles, like from very where in a, like a Kunduzangmo, uh, like an essence to peaceful, uh, wrathful, joyful, just basically think about you are sending a team of goddesses to resolve problem. And why there's a team of people? Because each of them have a unique character. If you think about negotiating something like that, one is strong, one is peaceful, one is skillful, one is expansive, like different character. One is like wrathful. So then, of course, Sibi Jammu is the, the, the last resources. <laughs> if there's nothing works, then she has to come. So, so in that sense, you know, like we, we, we are praying to external goddesses, but also very important to remember, and I think in a, some sense of uniqueness about these teachings, the Yung Nung Bun teachings, the, the, particularly related with the Dzogchen teachings, related with Dzogchen principles, the uniqueness is about is every external manifestation is connected with a base. Well, they always talk about the base. They don't only refer to outer manifestation, praying to outer manifestation. Uh, they're not always asking outside somebody, outside themselves. They're asking outside themselves. You have the list of goddesses. There is a satigyum there. But they all are clearly understood that they all come from within you, within, within uh, from that base. And that is very unique and that is considered as one of the richest elements of these teachings. Because many, many traditions, it, that, that, that link is not there. The deeper understanding is not there. That sense of inner refuge is not there. If that is there, then it's not exactly what they say. They're not referring to the same thing. So it's, that is very, very special. That's very, very unique. So I think it's important to um, able to go, as we have been doing, you, you see, all the practices we have been doing, right? Remember? Let's give a name like warrior seed syllable. Ah, that's the, it's talking about the mother. We are talking about fivefold teaching of Dava Janse. Union is great bliss. That space. Vision is mind, mind is emptiness. That space. It's referring to that mother. We're doing the awakening the sacred body with all the tsanu exercise. That either you do like nine breathings, you're trying to open up the space in the central channel. That is a space, that's space. That's physical doorway to that inner space. You're talking about like each tsanu exercises, like a, each one of them, particularly the second one, when there's a life force sun exercise, you're opening your heart. The heart, opening your heart, the heart is the doorway to that space. That is referring to that same space. So no matter which, where you come from, you, it's important to you realize that we're always referring to the same thing. I think we should get this, we should get this point, right? How many years has been Listening, praying, reflecting, okay, finally. I think I'm getting something. <laughs> right? So, in a way, well, the beauty of that is that then you realize, wow, everything seems simple. Because they're all connected. They're always referring to the same thing. The problem will be if each time we are referring to something else, that will be a big mess. And a lot of time, and you, in the end, you really don't know what you're talking about. But that is not the case. That's, we're lucky in that way. That's not the case. 
So I'm, you know, even though sometimes different tradition, the way, what way it's presented, the way it's taught, it somehow, it seems like it's so difficult to understand, you can never understand this life, forget about it. <laughs> three lifetime purify, three many, countless lifetime accumulate, then come back. <laughs> then we will discuss about if you are a right vessel for these teachings or not. Kind of discouraging. But here, all incredible door, many doors, incredible different teachings, but you can see always the truth is the same, the essence is the same, it's always within us. But the reason why we do once each specific practice is it's different. And clearly, this pure practice has so much to do work with our fear. <laughs> 